Are you just always feeling bad about how you look? Hi there, and welcome back to Ask Dr. Syra, the show where I answer your questions about personal growth, mental health, and relationships. Today's question comes from Kuldeep. Kuldeep says, I feel like I'm always disappointed with how I look and want to keep making improvements. It's making me miserable. Suggestions? I feel like I'm always disappointed with how I look and want to keep making improvements. It's making me miserable. Suggestions? I really like this question. I think it, I'm hoping that other people who are listening can relate, <laughs> unfortunately, to that question. Um, and the, the thing that I want to talk to you about today as we consider this question is, um, it's kind of three things that we need to explore. So first is this idea of the body as a project, body as a project. Second is redirecting attention. And finally is, what are you avoiding? So body as a project, redirecting, and what are you avoiding? Let's start with body as a project. We live in a culture that is body obsessed. Look at all of the time and energy that goes into clothing and our diet and exercise and not even to mention those other things like surgeries and Botox and skincare products and makeup and all of the things, right, that we're just inundated with this information about how to make our bodies better. We didn't ask for that, but we're living in it. And so this is something that came up about a year and a half ago um, when I was working with a group, a small group in our food addiction program. And this concept of the body as a project, right? Many people, particularly women, but all people, have been sold this narrative that it can always be better. And I don't, maybe that's true. We can always be better, absolutely. But at what point do you say, okay, I'm okay with this body? What I found happened for me was once I lost the weight, which was like the big problem, um, suddenly, like I was starting to find other things like, oh, now I need like to be toned and now I need to be like, um, you know, I need to wear a certain type of clothing to show off this body and like all this weird stuff. But still, it was still about the body as a project. It was still about like, how can I make it look better constantly? It's exhausting and it's exhausting for your loved ones. Let me tell you, they're just like, oh God, here we go again. So that's the first thing I just want to point it out because it's a cultural secret that's like an invisible secret that everybody's dealing with, which is how do I make my body better? So what if body as a project was out of your awareness? Like you just didn't think of your body as a project, doing the next thing, toning the next section, um, you know, paying attention to the next area that I want to improve or, or get better because it's constant. So kind of marinating in it all around in the society and it's not healthy. Body is a project. I mean, unless you're like um, a weightlifter or an athlete or a model where your body and the way that your body looks is super important, that's different. That's part of your career, okay? But for the rest of us, dude, you're in a body. It's working pretty well. Let's just leave it at that, right? body as a project. The second is when you stop doing the body as a project thing, you'll have all this energy and you'll have to decide where to direct that energy, right? And even if you're not yet able to let go of the body as a project, just redirect your energy to something else. So maybe it's gardening or maybe it's reading or maybe it's spending time with your loved ones or maybe it's, I don't know, anything organizing the basement or whatever find another project besides your body redirect that energy and into something that you want to pay attention to because the mental energy that it takes to constantly be thinking about how can i be better how can i be better it's exhausting and this sometimes happens in the personal growth world too right it's like i'm there i'm healing i'm getting better I'm... sometimes you just need to say whoa look where i am 
where I've got to, right? So redirecting your attention. The, finally th the final thing is um, by spending so much energy on the body as a project, what are you actually trying to avoid? For me, what I was trying to avoid was self-compassion and acceptance, right? If I can find the next thing to work on, if I can find the next problem to fix, then I never have to say, oh, I love and accept this vessel as it is, right? Because I'm always working on it, working on it, working on it, fine-tuning, fine-tuning. It's kind of like in our neighborhood on Father's Day, um, there's a Father's Day parade. And all the people in the all the old dudes in the neighborhood, they come out in these antique cars. So it's like, I live in a retirement community, <laughs> like on a mountain by a lake, a little tiny town, and it's a retirement community. So you have all these retired men um, driving these old antique cars. And so what's really beautiful is like, you know, starting April or May, they start working on the cars, right? They start, you see them in the garages and they're starting to tune them up. And then by July for Father's Day, they're out in the parade. Now, at some point, they got to come out to the parade, right? If you're just going to sit in the garage all summer working on the car and then never get to drive the car, like, what's the point? And that's what we do with this vehicle sometimes, right? We're tuning and fine tuning and tuning and fine, but we're not enjoying it. We're not actually getting to like be out in the world and feel good in it. So, you know, what, what could you actually be avoiding by keeping your body as a project? What kind of opportunities, what encounters might you just be saying, like, I don't want to do that. And so I'll just keep focusing back on my body. One um, shortcut is to look for a place you can serve another, you can help another, especially another who's not related to you, somebody you don't know. That's a great way of popping out of that self-absorption that can come from this um, and doing something that's going to make you feel good, not because of how you look. So those are my thoughts about always feeling disappointed about how you look is that first, really question that body as a project. Second, redirect your attention. And finally, um, what are you avoiding by having this project of your body? Hopefully that was helpful. Give me a like or a thumbs up. Feel free to share the video and look around on our channel. There's lots more interesting stuff happening here. Um, we will see you next time. Bye.